So yes, one, I look like a mess. Two, I actually just woke up. Three, I have work in a few hours and I am dead to the world, tired, so no makeup, still in my pajama top, bed not made, still in bed. Still yawning. Um, but to be honest, like I woke up and I really wanted to do this video um, just so people understand uh, who I am and where I come from. So, as people who I know personally, and some people online would notice that I was putting out some um, like videos of me just not doing really well. And what I mean by not well is, I'm going to be open with you guys. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you everything, but I'll be open. Um, yes, um, I suffer from depression, I have really, really severe anxiety, and I have panic attacks. Um, and there's a bunch of other things, but we are not going into all of that right now. Um, where I'm going with this, in a sense, is I'm trying to explain that, like, people, I don't know, around the world, if they deal with this kind of stuff and they understand, is we all have our good and our bad days. And yes, I am on medication, if some people were wondering, and I see help. But, like, when I was younger, and I also was suffering this, suffering through a bit of this when I was younger as well, um, what's it called again? I used to look up videos of how to deal with depression, how to deal with anxiety, and not to be such a bummer, and obviously this might help for some people, they actually didn't help me. And reason being is I felt like for them, maybe that was them being real, and that's how they deal with it, and that might work for them, and maybe for other people, but when I was watching that and stuff, that didn't help me at all. Like, I'm going to be honest, I've tried all those things people say. I I tried to move on and let go and all this stuff. And it's harder said than done, but they make it look so easy. And maybe in that case, it isn't so easy. And some videos I watched, they were giving you, like, step one, this is what you do, step two. And I'm like, there's no steps with dealing with any of this stuff. And I'm going to be honest, it's not, I can't, like, it's not something that, I can get rid of like that like it's been a part of me for a very long time and just seeing how people make videos about how to deal with it and stuff and it's like I'm confused what are you doing right and I'm doing wrong I'm even on medication for god's sakes and nothing like it yes it works at some points when you take it on time but um I just they just never really were helpful and I'm not going to make this video about that because obviously that would be contradicting my situation and <laughs> what I'm trying to say. But I'm trying to say is like dealing with all this stuff it is very overwhelming and I bet a lot of people who do deal with this is overwhelming and sometimes you feel like that there is no one out there that can hear you or like that understands you and they tell you you do. Oh I understand you, I'm here for you and stuff. But it's a difference between hearing it because people who deal with this kind of stuff like me, deep down, people might be saying they love you and they understand you, but deep down you're like, no, no you don't, you don't, like, uh, like we're not listening, like it's, we're blocking everything out. And it's, it's, it's stressful, to be honest, and it's annoying because it just, it just drags us down to our deepest points. Um, some people might notice about me, some people not. Um, not, like, I'm not crazy, obviously. Well, um, but, for example, I don't know if anybody has this too, is, like, it's like a voice. You have a voice in your head. Um, not, like, multiple voices. You have a voice in your head, and it's your own voice. And it's like your inner demon. And this thing, I call, I call it a thing, um, it just talks to you all day long, night and day, and it's everything negative about everything. It doesn't want to let anything go. It just drills at you until you just break. And I have that, obviously. Um, and it is like stressful because you're trying, for example, um, maybe this is better explain it. Maybe I'll finally feel happy or like there's a good moment and I'm happy. 
And then that voice in my head is like, why the fuck are you happy? You're a terrible person. You're an idiot. You're ugly. You don't deserve to be happy. Like, it's kind of like this nitpicking. And then how does someone feel better about themselves? How does someone feel good when you have that voice? And that's what I'm struggling as well. And yeah, like people and my therapist, it's like, you got to learn to cut it out. You got to like cut that voice, make a, like sever it. And it's like, okay, if, if I knew how to do this all these years ago, you don't think I would have done it. You think I want to stay like this? You think I want to stay like messed up and not able to have a real life because I just, I can't get out of this bubble that I've obviously I put myself in, but I don't know where I'm going with this, to be honest. I'm just just explaining how I am and people hopefully feel out there, but let's keep going. But it's, it's kind of like no one, no one exists outside of your bubble. You're like this only person because this voice has trapped you in it. And obviously sometimes like when I'm sleeping, I have, everybody has nightmares, right? Of course. But sometimes when I wake up from my nightmares, it's when I can have really bad nightmares. Um, that voice in my head saying, that's going to end up like you. You're going to end up like that. And it's like, it's like, how? It's like, why? Like, can I just wake up happy one day and enjoy the world? No, you can't because that happens. Um, obviously, like, people tell you that you need to let go of your past. Um, everybody, I'm not saying my past is the worst out of the worst. Everybody's had their own worst past, right? Everybody's dealt with something in their own way. Um... But what's it called? Oh, sorry, my phone. Um, it's more to say that I can't, I can't, and I don't know if anybody out there feels the same way. Um, it's because, like, sometimes you were too young to really understand what was happening to you emotionally, physically. And as you get older, you start to realize. And the thing is, the things that happen when you're younger till, for example, till... I was 14, 15, it like sort of stopped at certain areas and then in certain houses or certain places it picked up again until I was like 18. But it's kind of like, how do you let go of that? That Those stuff that happened to you or whatever, it molded you to who you are now. And yes, I know some things, to be honest, that happened to me was a good thing. It sounds weird, right? But more in the good thing that it actually made me mature faster than I thought I had to. Right? Like I matured way faster and I understood the world faster and just I know it sounds weird, but like the streets a little faster. But other parts obviously not, because I'm gonna be honest, it screwed the hell out of me. And I'm just like it effed up and fucked up my mind. It emotionally and physically, like, I'm drained from life. And I'm young, I'm 20, and I feel like I can't sometimes. Do you know what I mean? Like, they just, these thoughts or images or the way you're feeling and that no one understood it or it came to help you when you're younger. It's kind of like, it's like, you try to come into my life now and you try to be there for me and be someone who was supposed to be there for me when I was younger. You can't, like, what's done is done. Like, the roots go so deep that you can't just, like, you can't just rebuild everything. Like, you can't just tear a building down. Well, realistically, you can't. But you can't just tear a building down and then rebuild it. Like, my roots are so deep that it's just... It's just not, it's not, I can't, like, I can't just pull them out. Like, you pull that out, everything is going with it, right? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just, like, dealing with depression, anxiety, and panic attacks. It's ridiculous because sometimes I can be fine, right? And I don't know if anybody else is like this. You're good. You have your good days. And then 
sometimes you can just be doing anything, uh, listening to music, watching TV, just sitting down and a memory, anything pops into your head and it's like a trigger and then you're done for. Like, it's just like non-stop crying, non-stop hating everybody, don't want to talk to anybody, you do the stupidest things to yourself to make you feel better. And then like, you go into like this rut and it's ridiculous. And I talked about this in one of my other videos about depression, I think, and I can't, like, you just, you're gone, like, you're gone, and it tears so much out of you, like, little by little, and it's painful, like, it, it really is, and yes, I'm getting <laughs> emotional, if anybody can hear it in my voice, but I struggle day and night with this, and Sometimes it's just overwhelming, too overwhelming to the point that obviously I bring it to another panic attack. And yes, panic attacks are the worst thing. I hate them, especially every time I have a panic attack, my nose bleeds and it's like an hour of this. And yes, I have medication for that too, to help me with the panic attacks, but it's it's stressful and the biggest thing that is hard for me is acting like everything is okay. I go to work smiling and giggling all the time and no one would ever suspect that anything is wrong with me mentally and there's a lot and it's like you go home and your face drops because that's not who you are you're putting on an act and it's like you don't want to go to work being who you are because you're a Debbie Downer. Like, no one wants to hang out with you. No one wants to talk to you. You're supposed to be motivational. You're supposed to be a leader. You can't be like that. But it's like, it's so hard every day being that person who you're not. And I'm not that, obviously. And I just sometimes, I just want people to accept that this is who I am. I am a mess. I am a disaster. I'm emotionally... I'm emotionally messed like from brain to everything and you know like it's just it's it's tiring being that person sometimes um but I don't know where I went with this I just wanted to talk to somebody I wanted to vent a bit um and just get it out there um maybe I'll make another video to this going more in depth obviously not crazy in depth you don't need to know everything that happened in my life but um, I just want to say is I don't want people to watch this and feel, think they, like, I need pity or whatever, or charity case, I don't know. I hate that kind of thing. Um, I just wanted to talk, and everybody's like, oh, you're, you don't have friends and stuff, but it's, like, it's different talking to you guys, because maybe someone else who has my issues will watch this, and maybe we can connect and work together. But this is, like, literally where I wanted my YouTube to be about it's yes it's my journey also of not being in work in school but that kind of stuff plays into why like this stuff plays into why I'm not in school as well um but this is my journey this is who I am and I want you guys to be on a journey with me to getting better to finding my way and making something um of this mess um but hopefully you guys sort of enjoyed this or understand where I'm coming from I know this was a weird video but I will talk to you soon. Have a great night. Have a great week.